Hi friends, I have the honor and pleasure of having with me Dr. Molisha Bhandari. Score 796 in this NEET exam. Heartiest congratulations. I am really pr proud of your achievement. Thank you sir. Thanks a lot. How, how are you feeling today? So I am feeling good. <laughs> it's nice. So, uh, you know, you were telling me, uh, we were discussing before we started this discussion today, we were discussing that how you have been a foundation student, then you attended a test and discussion course with us. And then in the first attempt, you had a rank which you were not expecting and yes, so then you decided to drop. Hmm. And this year now you have achieved a significant score this year. Yes, sir. So will you, you know, share your journey with us? Yes, sir. So I have been, as you just said, that I have been a foundation course. I joined the foundation course in my third year. Uh, and uh, it was a very good course because it covered the third and the final year with us. So at least I had the notes for those two years. And so that I could follow up with the TND. And it was not that tough uh, to crack the NEET PG because I had some foundation as a third year student. And so what uh, what happened when you gave the NEET in the first attempt after the internship? Maybe because of the busy internship and uh, what, what happened? So uh, in the internship, I was not that serious, frankly. And uh, obviously, I was busy with the internship and I had not prepared that well. So the score which came, the rank which came was kind of expected, but yeah, it was not a good score rank. And how, that how, is how, 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 what was your rank in the first so attempt? So my rank was six, uh, 6,700 in the Six first seven. attempt. Okay. And uh, obviously I was not getting anything that I wanted. No in then you became more serious? Yes, of course. After yes. the yes. next day, as only I decided, yeah, I have to give a you know, second attempt. And that then I joined Times TND again. So, you know, uh, reason, you know, I wanted to take out the journey from her and I wanted to, you know, for other people also to, you know, understand is that sometimes what happens is when you hit internship, when you hit internship for the first time, even if you were a good student, she started early and when she hit internship, it's a very busy time. Some people are able to balance things. Some people mm -hmm. are, you know, they are not able to get that, put that much study in that year. Yes, and sir. but then she realized that okay this is where I was going wrong and then she put one more attempt in that and uh, she joined, joined us back at test and discussion yes, and th this time she has improved majorly and she has a score of 796 this year which is an awesome score. Thank you sir. So uh, this is the thing that you know we can understand from her journey. So now whatever has gone through in the last few years and how you have given the papers and all do you think it is of merit to join early in a classroom program? Yes, of course, it is imperative that as we should join as soon as possible in third year because it is a relatively lighter year as compared to the other years. So one should join because you get the notes and those notes actually form the foundation for any clearing any exam, be it NEET or AIMS or PGR. That was always my foundation and I always added upon it if I wanted to. But that was the major thing. And because if you join after internship, then you at least spend six, seven months doing a regular course. So you kind of lose that time and because you will not able to study with that. Obviously, you, that's a very busy, busy schedule. So I would advise everyone should join even as early as second year if it is possible. A third year is obviously ideal and uh, that is very important. Now, what I feel is that for any competitive exam, there are three parts. One is content, second is revision, third is exam skill. So what happens is if you are able to do the content part in the MBBS years mm -hmm. itself, like if you join in second year, yes, third year, and so you finish all 19 subjects, mm -hmm. and by the time you become an intern, you have only revision and exam mm -hmm. skill practice left. So yes, you are sir. able to do it much better. And other than, you know, some people would, you know, come at a later as a mm -hmm. post-intern post stage. So then they have to start from content, content building again. Right. So you can't skip any of those steps. You have to do content, then revision, mm -hmm. then, then exam exams. skills. So this is, you know, how her strategy has been as well. So what was your opinion when you gave the tests and the discussions and how, how did you enjoy the course? What was the course like? What was your experience? So the TND was very good. The questions were very content based. They were mostly new questions and even a lot more majority of the AIMS questions in the last two or three years were also covered so that we would not have to go through controversies as to what is the answer, what is, the, what is not the answer because that happens a lot of times. So that was also cleared in the TND as well. The uh, topics which have been asked in the previous two or three years, they had been covered directly or indirectly. So it helps a lot because the topics are changing, the content is changing, even NEET PG came up with a different strategy this time. So it's very important to join a TND and the questions give you a good practice 
and the uh, discussions which follow are amazing they cover every topic important topic in great detail even if you have because i had attended in third year so obviously a lot of things had changed in the span of those two or three years every day is every day there is a new update so obviously it helped me a lot to you know add on to those notes which was a significant amount which had been uh, added and i also want to ask a significant question here is that what was your approach in your internship tnd and the drop year tnd that uh, were you more serious in giving tests in the second part uh, or am i getting it wrong no, no, so of course i was much much more serious in yeah. the internship because i also wanted to emphasize this that test and discussion when you come to us you know after you have done your foundation we expect you to give the test mm. and then yeah. do discussion but sometimes i have seen that you know interns when they they are coming they directly enter at the discussion i don't blame them sometimes they have a you know posting or yeah. something so this year i have introduced a feature for the interns that i'm giving them their test on a mobile app itself okay, so, so that by the time they are walking or you know on the metro itself the test, by the yeah. time they reach the dam center the test can be done yeah. so we are doing this uh, this year we have added this as a feature so i think this is a very good feature because yeah as an intern mostly i used to enter after the test because i want to avoid the test because i had not studied as much as i would have wanted and obviously because you know you're busy in your schedule you think let's sleep for half an hour then let's go for the let's the you know the tnd and thankfully the tnd dams which can the conducts the tnd very close to a college is just a walking distance from a college but despite that i think it was many a times i would miss skip the test because one of the other reasons but so in the drop year yeah, you drop made year sure I that you gave all so i used to come 15 yeah. minutes but early but but giving the test has learning yeah this so very you learn very what important. you are doing wrong actually yeah. that is actually even more important than the give, then you know learning if if you learn 1000 mcqs and on the other hand you do 100 questions in a test mm. environment the learning will be more so it is very learning. important to give the test because it's like an exam because at the end we have to solve the mcqs your content does not matter if you're not able to solve the mcqs so doing mcqs giving the test is very important even as an intern i would say that you should give the test as far as possible if it's not feasible you're very busy then avoid it because i feel had i given the test had i been a little more serious i would have cleared in the first time it is not a big deal as most interns think that we are too busy or it's not going to happen that was my thing that I, this is not going to happen so let's not make it happen you know but i think every intern should be a little serious not i'm not expecting too serious because obviously it's internship but even if you're a little serious with the increase in seats is very it's easy possible. it is possible. possible it is very easy yeah. so not a big deal a lot of my batchmates cleared in the first attempt and please i would advise everyone please be serious from the start you can do it it's not and you won't have to go to this one year of which is more torch. more traumatic yeah, it is very traumatic yeah, yeah. so do you you know at this moment do you want to mention any teachers in dams that you know influenced you or you 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 know they Uh, influenced you or maybe you found uh, that they made a significant impact on your life so i think ev- all of the teachers in dams are extremely good i mean the content has always been great there has been no doubt that's why i used to come back to a tnd again a tnd but of course you dr deepthi dr sachin dr tushar all of them are great teachers and uh, you can ask them for help whenever i have stuck in psychiatry so i messaged dr sachin on facebook he replied to me promptly and i attended the crash course as well so i think all of them have been a great influence because you are from our college so it feels even more like at okay home. yeah i know yes so what about the grand tests did you how serious were you in the grand tests and uh, did they help you to learn how a full course paper will feel like so i'm not sure i was very very serious but yes i did try to do the grand test and i think grand giving grand test is very important because unless and until you give, get a feel of giving you know doing 300 questions in 3 hours of 19 completely different subjects it is of no use studying as much as you can it does not matter because remembering those small 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 details during the exam it's very difficult it's not that easy as one would perceive so i think it's very important i used to give a few grand tests i would see the videos of the subjects which i found lacking because i couldn't spare time to see all the videos otherwise i used to just skip through the solutions or the questions i was wrong yeah and uh, so did you enjoy that part that if you are doing something wrong and you have a video to add to mm. the understanding that that help you to build yes, the understanding yes it was very it was like a test and discussion class only i mean you're sitting at home and you can you know that so someone is teaching would, you teachers would you know continue with you no ah, they yes. just continue yes. with you it's yes. a very good feature so and what about cbt when did you appear for the dam cbt test yes, that sir. we conducted one in october one in december yes i appeared for both the cbt w- what was your score in the first cbt rank sir, in the first in and the second sir in the first cbt i got three digit 100 150 round i don't okay. remember exactly rank and in the second cbt i got a rank of 27 
so did that give you confidence that you are going on the right direction yes sir that is most important that it gives you confidence that you are doing good and you have to work hard because obviously it's not like if you got 27 this is it this and is you know many yeah. times you know, students tell me that when they are giving the neat exam they feel as if it is the third CBT going on yes so it feels <laughs> like that uh, only uh -huh. because you get a feel of a centre and the centre thankfully this time they were very near I had to travel like 7 minutes to the centre so it was very comfortable so that is a good thing and you get a feel of the exam sitting three hours in that area on the computer giving the test. So it's a very good thing but I would advise please don't take the rank that you get too seriously because you yes. might get to you know, tend to get overconfident or underconfident. Yes. Give the exam as an exam as a mock test and take it in your stride. It's a good thing. I will improve if I need to. And if I'm here, then I will maintain my rank even in need. And that's a very good point that you pointed out that take every mock test as a learning experience. Mm, most don't, don't take it as a life and death experience. And this is and it. I, I, I would can't even do anything. add, you know, I'll go even further here. Do not take even a neat rank as a life or death uh -huh, thing. Please see it is like more of like a experience. So what happens in life is that when you look back five years later, when you look back, you'll find that, you know, these are all small things. So please take them in your stride, like she yeah. said. That's a very because important point that she mentioned. My lead rank was 7,000 almost last year. Yeah. So from 7,000, she has improved to this score this year, which yeah. is a great improvement, Thank you know, great you improvement. Sir. And it is all possible because she consistently worked on her weaknesses. Yeah, yes, way I understand her weaknesses in the first attempt probably was lack of test yeah. practice, which she added majorly in the the next attempt and that, that kind of gave uh, took yeah. her to a winning loop yes it's yes. very important yeah. mm -hmm. did you attend the dvt session that yes, we conducted sir, i attended the dvt session it was very good and even though it was long but it was worth the effort because everything every subject was brushed up so whenever i had to go through you know something i didn't have time or through two three hours i had so i would just go through a dvt and i would brush up that subject i was no yeah i can now do the mcqs again because you tend to keep forgetting it's like a cycle every three months you don't remember what you read so obviously dvt helps because in one and a half two days you can cover the entire course so dvt was your last minute revision yeah, thing or to, to go to go list yeah, kind when of thing. i had this no time i couldn't do anything else i would go to okay let me just pressure through a dvt i would see the images as well so it gives a you know, powerful impact that okay did images. you you know utilize the videos that we had put on e-medico's app uh, towards the end mop up you know yes sir i would not say I, would, I could see all but i saw a lot of them and they were very helpful the psychiatry mop up i saw i saw the ecg mop up so it was helpful but yeah sometimes you just don't get time to see all of them but it is a very good thing you can sit at home and you don't have to go anywhere it was a great thing that i didn't have to travel for one so hour that, that was our purpose that yeah. towards the end we wanted to give you some material in the video because yeah. i believe that in today's generation the future is going to be in blend blend mm -hmm. would be some face to face classes something online like yeah. we do in the gt videos like we do this time we have added a video to the crs as well yes, so that that blend is the correct blend which would work in the yeah, yeah. coming generation so it was a great help. what was <laughs> your uh, you know experience like i want to ask a few important questions to you which you know i want you to answer because you gave the last neat mm -hmm. and you gave this neat so what you know change did you perceive in the pattern of the exam and what would you like to advise to future NEET aspirants? So the NEET has changed completely. <laughs> there is nothing similar to what happened last time. I remember because I hadn't prepared well last time so towards the 10-15 days I took the guides and I, you know, kind of tried to learn the questions and some of them did get repeated. This is NEET 2016 but this time there was no repeat, absolutely none. And they were completely different topics. Even the style really. of the paper was yeah, totally changed. Totally, yeah. it has totally changed. It's more on the lines of aims. It's going towards aims. Difficult, and by difficulty difficult, level would be you know, more. Even more than aims. And there is rote learning as well there. So it's a difficult paper. It's not a very easy exam. And repeats have no place whatsoever now. It is all your concepts, your, uh, you know, your dams notes, which would help you. And of course, you know, whatever MCQ is done as a practice so that you know how to go about those 300 questions in three, three and a half hours. So, you know, I'd like to add here is that another element that was added in this need was negative marking. Mm, so negative. till last in 2016, there was no mm. negative marking. The paper was more on a basic, basic uh, to slight advanced level, but this was middle, mm. moderate to advanced more level advanced kind of level. paper. Mm. So I want to, you know, put this advice, you know, through the mouth of a topper to students is that they are repeating less questions. No questions. Focus on not concepts. Less, no questions. Yeah, focus on concept building rather than learning things because they will not be repeated. Mm. Because sometimes I see students, sometimes who are sitting in peripheries, they open guidebooks, keep hands, keep mugging up, keep mugging up. When they see the paper, they are shocked. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. So that is very important message that comes from your, you know, you know, from your experience this time. And I also want now to, you know, we are going to give you a, a job here that you have to say something motivating to future aspirants. Okay, sir. So first of all, please don't think that it's not possible. I was a compl I went from 7,000, 8,000. Frankly, even, I didn't even deserve that rank. I was like absolutely nothing. And this one year through studies, you have to put in your 100%. There is no doubt about that. And the sooner you put it, the better it is because you will have to struggle to this. You have to get to this to go to the other side. And everyone wants to go to the other side. So start as soon as possible. Join a good coaching center. Obviously, I would recommend DAMS because I have been like really comfortable and they have helped me a lot. And uh, do your hard work and nothing is impossible. Anyone can do this. It's not such a big deal. And don't think that it's not possible. First and foremost, you have to believe, yeah, I can do it. And then I think everything just falls into place. And with this note, you know that you can do it, I can do it. Keep believing, keep doing. I'm sure she will do well in life. May I ask which branch are you thinking about? So I'm still confused. Still thinking. <laughs> still thinking. She's still taking her time. Yes, and sir. I'm sure she'll look at different departments and plan uh, accordingly. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure India will have a great doctor in her in future. On behalf of the entire DAMS teams and DAMS family, we wish her all the best. She has been with us from her foundation years from internship and you know it, it is a matter of pride for us as well so we feel very proud of your achievement heartiest congratulations god bless you